Today I had a very proud moment. You know those moments when you know they're listening and you know your teaching strategies have paid off because then they put it into practice. Self-regulation is one of the most frequent topics we touch on during morning meeting and SEL practice because it puts the kids in charge of their own emotions and it helps them from making rash decisions because they're able to calm themselves down. We have loads of books and things like calming jars. I have visuals around my classroom for them to use. But today, one of my students could visibly see that I was stressed out. It's testing season and we had a big math test today and I was just really stressing. So one of my sweet little girls threw me this and left it on my desk. So I said, oh, thank you. She said, it's a stress chart. And then she went on to explain how to use it. It says, this is for you if you're stressed, these are calming charts. On this side, I'm supposed to take my finger and trace it, trace the heart and breathe in and out while I trace the heart. And then I'd breathe in and out while I trace the other heart. And by the time I'm finished tracing the hearts, I should be calm. And on the other side, it says, you are very calm and great. And on this one, I'm supposed to take my finger and breathe while I trace around all the circles. And I trace around the circles until I'm calm. And I am just incredibly proud that we've made it to the point where we're creating our own resources for self-regulation. Because when you can regulate those big emotions on your own, nothing can stop you.